I'm coming. So I missed what was said about that character's backstory. Could be our way out. I think they said something about he like Why lost his sister. Candles? The candles are to show that you're thinking of someone. Oh, can I light one? If you want to, don't burn yourself. Thank you. I think I already talked about the the whole candle thing in the first. For mommy. Art. Watch over them. But yeah, candles were crazy expensive back in the old ages, and the church, well, churches were the main. You like they it's not? Funny. The sound here. There's an echo. Hello, Hugo. There might be people here. Oh. <laughs> Sulfur. Huh? Explosive. Anyway, uh, churches were not only the main, like, use, the use of candles back in the day, but also the main producers, because there would be so many candles lit at all times, they would have grounds for, uh, keeping bees. Not in the modern sense, but... Forgive me for the evil I have just committed. I never... Amicia, you're really squeezing me. Sorry. Uh... But to, to illuminate everything, they had to make the candles that were made out of bees, wax, and so... You had a whole lot of... Bees being kept. Oh, a necklace. It's a rosary. What's it for? Praying. Can I use it to talk to mommy and daddy? We'll do it together. You mean like right now? Hold on a minute. I keep getting interrupted, but I don't know if it means like... Wait, there's gifts and curiosities? Well, um... I, I mean, maybe she just meant it in like a thematic sense. But yeah, bees. There, it was a. A, mm. a barricade. Well, why have they done that? To stop someone from getting in or out. They were like kept on grounds around churches, and so uh, that's where most of the candles came from. Unless you were rich, you pretty much could not get Come candles. Come on, get up there. I hope it doesn't break like the other one. It won't, Hugo. Trust me. And then Amicia, other... there's someone there. Children! What are you doing here? Father! We need help! Please! It's dangerous! You have no business being here! Wait! Please! It's important! We should go and talk to him. Other, uh... When, uh, settlements would come up, there'd be a is bunch of deforestation. It has to be him. It has to. Oh! They've broken everything. What's going on here? Perhaps they're building bigger beds? I don't think that's it. And that deforestation would obviously get rid of bees. So, ironically, the populations that would need, you know, a whole bunch of bees, all these giant villages and stuff, would be the least likely to produce them because they got rid of all the wooded areas to make the housing and stuff. Until, like, what was it, that 19th century? When uh, they started making candle wax out of uh, petroleum. I know that smell. So they were expensive all Medicinal the way up until herbs. like 1838. The or monks something. must have put them in the water to purify themselves. Mother used to do the same. <clears throat> this has been boring history with Sokka. Oh, 
flowers. They're so pretty. Salt Peter. Salt Peter. Huh? I'm just exploring. They're carnations. We had some in my herbarium. But those ones are prettier. Hugo, we have to keep moving. Wait, wait. Come here. What? It will protect you. And it's pretty too. Oh. All right. Now we can go. Thank you, Hugo. You're welcome. Hugo is a, uh... I don't even know what to say. It's a bit, it, he's a very interesting character, you know? He's, he's a kid and he's dumb because he's young and he doesn't also understand what's going on in the world because he's been shut out of it because he was sick, which is kind of, you know, why you should let your kids go out and experience things for themselves because as much as you want to protect them, you can be harming them by sheltering them all the time because they don't learn anything for themselves, they don't experience anything firsthand, and they're not just going to take your word for it all the time. Father. You again. I told you to just leave. Just a moment. Just a... You have no idea. Leave while you still Please. can. Someone has to help us. Do it for him at least. The Robert Darun, coat of arms. We are his children. We are looking for Laurentius, the doctor. Do you know him? Yes, yes, I know him. And I know he used to look after your family. He spoke of you. Uh, I am Father Thomas. Y your presence here is not a good sign. The Inquisition. They came and they... I can imagine. But what is happening here is far worse. You must leave immediately, or you will die. Father, the villagers wanted to kill us. Oh, they're mad, they're mad. Oh, Laurentius, Laurentius. No, I, I, I cannot leave the church, but I an exit. Um, through the crypt of the three saints. It may not be too late. I shall try to put you on a path to Laurentius' farm, but after that, may God watch over you. All seems calm for the moment. Come. Happy the trying to explore this area. Is it really the plague? It started with bites during the night. Then the sickness spread. First in families, then to everyone. Fever, boils. People started dying. And when we finally found out where it came from, it, why, it was already too late. And where did it come from? We're nearly there. Brother Morel should be here. We are the last two remaining. Brother Morel. Stay here. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Brother Morel. You go know something's up. Brother? Is he gonna get an attack? What is the matter? Father? When you 
pull out a stick of gum in the middle of class. Um. You can't stay close to me. Each one is a big agent. Where did they come from? How can there be so many of them? The past was the worst. They're scared of the light. I don't know if the torches have like a limited... Can I burn stuff? I cannot burn stuff. I, I hope the torch doesn't have like a limited amount of... Burning time. Well, there's Monk. Brother Morel. The other brother. Oh, God. We're going to have to climb up. I'll have to put the torch down. No, please. Calm down. There's a torch holder. We'll still have light. But then <gasps> oh! We'll find something. Spoke of a way out through the crypt. The light goes out if it falls. Okay. Amicia, the three statues. The crypt of the three saints. It's the exit the father spoke of. We have to find another way. Alright, we're full on sulfur. I would pee myself if I were Hugo, bro. They literally ate that man alive. Uh, I need a stick. I should be able to knock it down. Ooh, hints. Try not to look. Jesus, try not to smell it. Is more like it. I know. Come on. Okay, there's a ladder over there. Is this door going to be locked? Yes, it is. Bruh, there are so many rats. You go fast. Alright. So this is what it's like in New York. You know, realistically speaking, I think we would still be in trouble up here because rats can climb. So... But the way they just rushed out, bro, they just flooded out at him. Like, man. And the dude was obviously, like, injured, or like, ill. So he didn't really stand a chance, or there's no way of right. him getting we'll caught. at the same time. Oh no! Oh no! Uh -huh. But yeah, there was no way he was going to get away. So that, I was like, what do you mean we're the only ones that remain? What happened to the rest of them? I, I now know. Okay. You go calm down. I I did not see this coming, I'm not gonna lie. I mean I knew there were gonna be rats, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this bad. Okay, we can we can upgrade something. We have like full something or other, right? Like aren't we full on stuff? Can I upgrade my pouch? No, I can't. I can't upgrade anything. 
Wait, here I can. I can upgrade the pocket. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Huh. This should make things a little easier. No rats. Oh. Oh. Should be enough. Come on. Down there, the three saints. Ah. We're getting closer to the way out. <laughs> 